Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And this is Hold My Beer Wednesday. Uh, the idea of today's video is that you're going to hold my beer and I'm going to do something extremely stupid while that's happening. And the stupid thing that we are going to do today is grasp big ass bearings in our concrete bunker. And we are going to do this scientific test. Will it go through the skin, the shrapnel? We have tried with ballistic gelatin, but I think it's not the same. There isn't the skin. So we are going to try with some pork fat. Let's see. Let's see. Hanna was really pleased to notice that there is still some like hair on the yeah. pig fat. Ooh. And uh, don't worry, we are not going to waste these. Uh, they are going to be just fine. We are going to eat them to our cats when they are mm. done here. Let's start with this. It's made in Sweden. Hey, Sverige, and here we go. And this is no joke, there is a lot of accidents involving exploding ball bearings. When you try to remove the old bearing by hammering it or something, something might break and they really send sharp shrapnel around. And if you have smaller bearing, of course, the shrapnel ain't this bad, but always, always wear safety glasses. Ooh. Uh -huh. Ooh. The left one got a good hit. Let's go have a look. Uh, is this like? Yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah. Hardly bleeds at all. The pig is so fat. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I think we have better, better stuff here. Not bad at all. Yeah, these are not bad. Mm -mm. Yeah, but luckily we have a lot more and bigger ball bearings. Mm -hmm. So next one in. Check. This is a roller bearing, not mm. a ball bearing. This is made in Germany. Yeah, is there like a version of Heyas Varia for Germany? Mm. Burst a beer. Burst. And it's like leather holes and like... Oh. <laughs> Only things about German. <laughs> yeah. Beer, sausages and leather... Trousers. Trousers. That's, that's the first time when the window saved somebody. Yeah. Ooh, that, <laughs> I, I felt the whole floor again, like, <laughs> jumped. Towards. Yeah, but that would like, I'm not sure, I think it wouldn't kill me, but definitely would like hurt. Okay, that was pretty decent hit to the window. And uh, you can see it from the high speed. It's not like the largest piece ever. It actually comes from the uh, lower part of the bearing. There is a nice graphic here. And uh, that was moving. Maybe it's hard to say the angle is so weird, but maybe 50 meters per second. And that's quite heavy and sharp. So I would say that it's similar, similar hit and would get like hit to the face with small axe with a really good swing. So I would say that at least if it hits to your like neck to like some blood vessel or something, you might bleed out. So definitely good thing to have the bulletproof window here. And to be honest, it wasn't the bulletproof window that stopped it. We have first 10 millimeters of polycarbonate 
and then the bulletproof window, and that's to keep the bulletproof windows not cracking, because they're really expensive, and I don't want to replace them often, and this is about maybe three or four millimeters to the polycarbonate, so that's a bad hit, polycarbonate is really tough, but not even like 10% of coming through, you need much much faster for that. The windows alone are rated for 308, and I have seen Kentucky ballistic shoot window that is rated for 308 with four bore rifle, and that shoots about 500 meters per second, and the bullet from that is much heavier than the clump you see here, so I would say that this would need to go at least 600 meters per second to go through, and because energy is speed squared, so you would need like 100 times the energy to go through the actual bulletproof window, so the bunker is still totally overkill, even if this been potentially deadly hit without the window. Okay, let's have a look of this. Nothing much. Okay. Maybe the... Hey! Ooh! Oh! That looks painful. Yeah. But it doesn't go very deep. Oh. Hey! It cut the skin off. Hmm. Where is, Where is the skin? There is a piece of big skin somewhere. We don't know where. Yeah, we are going to get some like beef jerky or pig jerky Big when jerky. it dries up. It's mm. good snack when you are going to find it. Okay, almost died on the last go. The bulletproof window saved me. So time to bring in the big boy. This is the biggest bearing that they had on the uh, ball bearing shop. So yeah. don't try this at home. Okay, here is the new setup. We have pig skin and ballistic gel on that side and ballistic head on that side, and big bearing on the middle. Ugh, I don't like this, but here it goes. <laughs> there was a lot of action. Let's go have a look. Okay, no new hits on this. Oh, oh, there oh. is a lot. Yeah, there is a lot. Yeah. But these don't go very deep. No. So, it's only like half an inch. Uh. So, Ew. didn't go through. Not Where sure is, is there head? is there too much steel for the cats? Yeah, let's think about that later. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I think there isn't there is the like choker face uh. from the pressure plug, but I think it didn't got too badly hit. Mm. But you can see the high speed here. Yeah, there are two main things on the high speeds here. First one is the fact that the camera gets hit quite well. There is one of those rollers flies straight to the lens, you can see it here, but didn't broke, it actually zoomed out a little bit, it pushes the lens in and it zooms out. You, you can actually see it here on the replay, so uh, first shrapnel zoom ever, and then this, that hit the table so hard, and those are probably the hardest hits ever seen with the press. So the ball bearings are really dangerous, but it changes a lot where the shit flies. Sometimes you get hit and sometimes you don't. That's the lesson of today's work safety video. And uh, thanks for everybody for holding my beer. This is now done and that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.